Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you had an opportunity to watch the last video of the overgrown yard cut that I did. And hope you had an opportunity to uh, go on there and comment about your thoughts as, as to what you would charge on a first time cut of something like that. So if you didn't get a chance to watch that video, link to it is in the description or will be in the first comment. Um, make sure you go check that out. It'll be the last video, the one that was uploaded uh, for Saturday, June the 8th. Uh, this video will upload uh, most likely either either the night on Sunday or uh, possibly Monday. Anyway, uh, hit it out. Uh, made some rearrangements in the schedule again. Uh, if you watched the last video, then you know that I had to make some changes due to the overgrown yard and it taking up so much extra time uh, that I wasn't expecting. So I ended up moving things around and changing things up to do things a little bit differently. So wasn't going to cut today, but the one yard that I do just the trimming on contacted me about doing their yard today uh, because they're going to be going out of town starting tomorrow. They'll be gone for a week. And, uh, yeah, they wanted to know if I could go ahead and take care of it today. Uh, otherwise, we would have to skip this week. So, yeah, going ahead and taking care of that. And since both of these yards, I had to turn that air down a little bit. Uh, since both of these yards are in the same neighborhood, basically, uh, well, not neighborhood, but same community, same area, I will be uh, going ahead and trying to get both of them today to save fuel. Uh, like I say, I was originally planning to try to uh, take care of them tomorrow, uh, but it's going to be a case that I'm going to have to try to get them today. So, but yeah, let's uh, let's get moving. Let's get rolling. I got to make a quick stop at the store to pick up some water and some ice. And then get on these yards. It is a late start to the day. So we're going to see how things go, see how it, uh, how it moves along. Not sure if I'm going to do any video on the yard that I do just trimming on. Um, so today's video may be just the one yard that I do mostly cutting on. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes once I get started and get moving. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a hot one today too. So <laughs> this should be fun. Let's rock and roll. Oh yeah.
I am about to pull up to the first yard and this one is the one that I do the trimming on so yeah we're gonna get this one uh, get it taken care of get the trimming done so it looks like they've already cut their grass so all I need to do is just come in and take care of the trimming so, uh, I may try to get a couple of couple of shots on here uh, but we're going to get this one done as quick as we can and head over to the main yard. All right. All right, finished up there. I didn't get a lot of recording on the trimming just because I wanted to get here and get it done so that I can get over to my other property that I'm doing today and get it done because it is getting late and everything so I don't want to run out of daylight but I'm gonna head down the road get another one done uh, you'll notice in um, the clip that I just uh, just show uh, I did you know the trimming and everything did most of the trimming but the homeowner tried to get down around the pond which when I was doing the mowing as well, I would mow down as far as I could get um, on the slope there, uh, I, I, uh, safely to say, um, you know, I, I would get as, as, as far down as I could safely get with the John Deere, and then I would come back and trim the remainder, which usually wasn't a lot. 
Uh, but the homeowner uh, is, of course, now doing their mowing, and I'm just taking care of the trimming. And he attempted to try to mow that part uh, with his new mower, which is a zero turn. And, yeah, needless to say, he said he almost ended up down in the pond um, because it started trying to started trying to slide and get away from him. Um, which, that's one of the reasons I would only go so far with the John Deere uh, and get as safely as I could because that slope there, with it being right there by the pond um, and everything, and, and where it was at, it didn't get a lot of sun. Uh, there was a lot of shade there, so uh, it, it could be slick at times. So I was uh, very cautious when I would take care of the pond. So needless to say, I, I took care of it for him on um, this go around, which I would have been trimming it. I, I had planned to trim that area, um, but he couldn't get any of it. So instead of trying to trim that entire spot, which would have been a lot of trimming, I decided to just go ahead and pull out the push more and uh, take care of that. And he said that, you know, after this go around, he, he will be doing that area, but he's going to use his push more instead. Uh, anyway, he's going to start mowing that with his push more instead. So I took care of it today, all of it. And then he said that from now on, he will have that section done for me. So, but anyway, headed down to the next stop. Get that one knocked out. And um, now that yard takes me about an hour to an hour and a half uh, on a good day. With it being so hot right now, guys, I'm going to tell you, it is so humid out. Uh, the, the humidity is horrible. Uh, it, it is so humid out that the moment I stepped outside of the truck, I was soaking wet. I mean, it's just like someone turned on a shower and just soaked me. Uh, that's how humid it is out. So, yeah, it may take me a little bit longer than I would hope for, but we're going to get it knocked out, get it taken care of. Here we go.
by Mr. Cone. Give me one good cone flip for today. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, it is 8.30 p.m. I am headed home. All done. Uh, got, I think I got quite a good bit of uh, a video on uh, on that yard. More than I normally get. I usually don't uh, video the front. Uh, but I decided today to go ahead and uh, take some video of the front set up because it was a different perspective, a uh, different viewpoint and everything. And uh, yeah, I did a little bit different on uh, on the front this go around, kind of experimenting to see what would give me the best time uh, best output and honestly I, I, I think it's about probably about the same uh, but doing 90% uh, of that one section of the front with a push more uh, it, it really really did make a difference uh, because the way that the yard kind of goes, you know, and this way and that way and that way uh, kind of makes it a little difficult to get in with the John Deere. And, you know, trimming it, trimming it is okay. And it does, you know, I'm able to get it done pretty quickly. But it was... I think it was actually better doing it with the push more and everything. It was hot when I got there. I'm, I'm going to tell you, it, it was hot. But as the sun started going down, it started to cool off a little bit. And uh, that, that made a big difference. So, um, but yeah, got it all done. Uh, now we got to gonna get back home, get everything put up, get us a bite to eat. I uh, got to go get something to eat before they close because they'll start closing here in about an hour. Uh, it, you know, that's one of my pet peeves. If you're going to have a restaurant, fast food or whatever, and you're going to have set hours that you are open, that your lobby is open, I, I don't like going to drive through. I, I just, I prefer to be able to see, I prefer to be able to see who's handling my food and the preparation of it. That's just, that's just me, but <laughs> you know, it's one of my pet peeves though. I managed fast food in the past in my younger days. And I saw the time that you know we could run it. We had a pretty busy location, but I saw the time that we could run a fast food place with three people, literally, literally myself and two workers. And we would run drive through and lobby with no issues. Now, if a place doesn't have six or seven people in there, they panic not being able to run anything. Now they want a dozen people in there working. They're bumping into each other, and that's the only way that they will remain open. If they drop down below, say, nine or ten workers in there, they got to shut down either the drive through or the lobby. Generally, it's going to be the lobby, and they're going to run nothing but drive through. I don't understand it. I, I, I just really do not comprehend how that is a conceivable thing to do. You know, if you're going to run an establishment like that, run it. And if your employees can't do it, it's time to look for some new employees. Uh, yeah, that's that's my little that's my little rant for this video. Uh, but yeah, I actually went last night to uh, a local establishment, and. They were supposed to be open till 10 o'clock. I got there at like 9 20, 15 after 9, something like that. Went up to the door, tried to go in, door was locked. 
Needless to say, they didn't get my business last night either. Anyway, yeah, that's my that's my pet peeve rant for this video. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a uh, have have had a great weekend. By the time this video uploads, uh, it will either upload on uh, today's Saturday. I'll either upload it tomorrow or uh, Monday. So this this may be this may be my um this may be my Sunday video. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll get this video uploaded either tomorrow or Monday. And my next thing that I got to do is I got to get blades changed on that lawnmower. And we're also going to be doing a servicing in the very near future uh, because the service indicator came on on the lawnmower yesterday uh, while I was mowing. So uh, it actually is about the time I was finishing up yesterday. Uh, so the servicing, uh, in the service indicator came on, letting me know that it was time for servicing. So... Yeah, going to be uh, doing a full service on it. Probably going to go ahead and do everything, oil change, uh, change air, fil uh, change the air filter, fuel filter. Probably go ahead and do a full, complete tune-up on it and, you know, get it back uh, into, into full setup. I, I was trying to wait until the end of the season, but, yeah, I may have to go ahead and do it now. Do about midway through. So, but we put a lot of wear and tear on that John Deere uh, recently doing a lot of overgrown yards. So, it, it's it's been it's been tested. It's we can say it's tried and tested. But anyway, I'm gonna get off of here. Gonna go home. Uh, drop the trailer and uh, yeah, find something to eat and call it a night. Till next time, guys, you know it. That grass is growing. I got to get to mowing. Oh, yeah.